All right, guys, we're looking at Zombie by the Cranberries today. This is the in-depth lesson on that. I'm going to go over in detail how you play the chords and how we do the strumming pattern on the first part shown in the video number one. Make sure you have your downloaded tab sheets printed in front of you so you can follow along with this. First chord I'm playing is an E minor. The way I'm going to do that, I'm playing actually the second string all the way to the six strings. Everything's open except the second fret of the fourth and fifth strings. That will make your E minor chord. So it's going to be open, second fret, second fret, open, open. Not really using the first string on this one. She wasn't strumming it, so I didn't strum it either. All right, going to the C chord, first fret on the second string, second fret on the fourth strings, third fret on the fifth string. And we'll be playing the four middle strings, not using the sixth string. You can actually bring your thumb around, just touch that sixth string, so that way if you hit it on a down strum, you're not going to hear it. And I'm not using the first string. If you want to mute that one, your first finger that's holding the second string can also mute that first string. So first string muted, sixth string muted. Very easy to just hear the four middle strings. Our third chord is G. Sometimes you can either use your four finger G, where we're holding the third fret of both the first and second strings, as well as sixth string, and the second fret of the fifth string, open middle two strings, or you can use three fingers as in the tab, where we're gonna be holding the third fret of the first string, third fret of the sixth string, second fret of the fifth string, and the second, third, and fourth strings are open. That's our G chord. Either one of those would sound nice in this song. And the last chord, it's very easy to play. It's a G F sharp chord. All I'm doing is holding the second fret, the F sharp note on the sixth string. I'm allowing that finger to touch the fifth string to mute it as I'm reaching over it and playing the open second, third, and fourth strings. And that's transitioning back to the E minor when they're looping this first part. So it goes like this. E minor, strum pattern will be down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm gonna think of that as three, two, another two, and then three. So that's the easiest way to keep this pattern going. It's gonna be recurring for all four chords. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, and repeat for the next chord. to playing this correctly is to have that pattern recurring. So if you can just think of th a group of three singles, one, two, three, and two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three. The strum direction is going to be down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, for the three at the end. So it's up, down, up. Practice that a little bit slowly before you try to switch the chords with it. I think you'll have good luck with it. The rest of the song is going to be played with an overdriven guitar. What that means is we're going to have some distortion. So the way I'm going to do it on my guitar, I'm going to go to the bridge pickup, turn my volume all the way up because I had it down a little bit. On my amplifier, I'm just changing to a distorted channel on the amp. If you have an overdriven overdrive pedal or a distortion pedal, you can kick that in. Any way that you get your distorted sound, that's what we're going to do with this part of the song. Now, the first part is a little bit hollow sounding. So I'm going to grab my tone control on my guitar. Turn that down a little bit, take off some of that top end. She's playing a little solo here. She's going to be doing it on the first string for the most part using a single string scale. It's going to sound like this. 7, 8, 5, 7, 3, 5. And then we're going to go two, three with a pull off back to two. And then we change to the second string for three, three, and open. Sounds like this. Pretty simple to play. I watched several videos over the years, even the most recent in 2016. She always played the solo that way, that little intro piece, and it's recurring. You'll see it again later on in the song. So make sure you get that down, you have it in your pocket, you don't have time to think about how do I play this solo when you get to it. You have to have rehearsed it, and you're just like, oh yes, I need to play that part I rehearsed. All right, other part of the song, and she's got a second guitar player in the band that does play this part, it's heavy five chords. Okay, so we're going to still use our distorted sound, but not really with the tone control down, just everything full up. And the chord shapes are going to be E5, which is just going to play two strings, the open sixth string and the second fret of the fifth string. That's going to be an E5. We're going to play that chord with down strums, and we're going to do it just all downs in an eighth note fashion. So one and two and three and four. 
also using palm muting, taking the heel of my hand, just touching the string in front of the bridge. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. It's much more low, thumpy sound. It's just heavier sounding. All right, so we're going to do the E5, going to a C5, which is the third fret of the fifth string and the fifth fret of the fourth string, just playing those two strings all down, same rhythm. You'll take that shape for the C5 and move it over one to the third fret of the sixth string, fifth fret of the fifth string. That's your G5. And the last chord here is going to, it's coming really from the F sharp chord, the G F sharp chord that we played before, but we're only playing two notes. We're gonna be playing the second fret of the sixth string and the open fifth string, so make sure you don't lay on that fifth string as you were in the first part of the song. And this is gonna be an F sharp minor sound. We really don't have a fifth in the chord, so the heavy part sounds like this. Those are the parts to the song Zombie by the Cranberries. Hope you're enjoying these companion videos. Give us some feedback on the website. Let us know what you think. And any suggestions you may have to make us better, just let us know. I'm Trent. I'll see you next time.